Hello friends, another chapter of the Baki manga has been released this week. The last chapter was released two weeks ago, and in that chapter, we could see that Kosho was preparing for his fight against Jack. However, in this week's chapter, we saw an interesting fight where Hanayama faced a new character. On the cover of the chapter, we can see Hanayama in his classic attack stance. This indicates that the protagonist of this chapter will be him. On the first page, we can see the classic emblem of the organization that Hanayama leads. The place looks very elegant, and there are several decorations on the walls and tables. The flag of Japan is hanging on a wall, demonstrating that this organization is probably Japanese. Someone mentions that this modern era is full of drama. Apparently, someone had come to pay a visit. In the next panel, a man appears, sitting in one of the chairs of the place. This man was sitting in a rather curious posture, as he seemed very excited to be in that place. Probably this man was looking for someone specific. This man was talking with Kazaki, one of the men who worked for Hanayama. Kazaki asks this man the reason for his visit. The guy responds that he was looking for Bakihama. Kazaki is surprised and tells him he is looking in the wrong place. The guy says that this is not true as he knows that the leader of this organization is a close friend of Baki. Kazaki says that this is indeed true, however if he wants answers, he will have to ask his boss personally. He says that the boss will probably agree to answer his questions but is very sure that before that, he will test him. At that moment, one of the doors in the place opens and someone enters the room. The mysterious man turns to see who it was. Wakizaki seems to be more relaxed as he already knew who had entered. In the next panel, we can see that the person who had entered was the imposing Hanayama, the leader of the organization. Hanayama appeared in his classic attire. He wore a white suit and his striking leather shoes. The mere presence of Hanayama had left this man stunned. Hanayama approaches the sofa and sits down without saying a word. His huge body occupies half of the sofa, forcing Kazaki to move aside to allow him to sit comfortably. To his guest's surprise, Anayama says they need not introduce themselves because he already knows him. His name has been becoming famous in recent days and has reached his ears, which is why he knew he would come to visit him. Hanayama takes out one of his cigarettes and lights it before continuing the conversation. He reveals that this guy's name is Junichi Hanada. It seems he is a character we have seen before but did not have much relevance in his time. He asks him if he had come to visit him to talk about business, money, or perhaps he had come for a fight. Anata stays silent for a few seconds while he thinks about his answer. He smiles and, instead of answering, responds with another question. He asks him if he is the real Hanayama, the great mafia boss who is even feared by the country's government. Kazeki looks at him and replies that he is correct. This man sitting in front of him is the real Hanayama. Anana says he was not wrong to come, the scars on this man's face prove that he is the one and only Hanayama. Anana pauses and then says that his visit is actually to test his skills against the legendary Hanayamas. Since he is a man recognized and respected throughout Japan, he definitely couldn't pass up this opportunity. Hanayama accepts his request and invites him to a more suitable place to fight. Then we see that both fighters have moved to another room where there is more space to carry out this exhibition fight. Hanada says he is very excited to have the opportunity to fight the legendary Hanayama. Hanayama seems more apathetic to this man's excitement, and with a cold tone says, good night. It's as if he said the fight is going to end in a couple of seconds. Hanada laughs upon hearing these words, but Kazaki interrupts him and says the fight has already begun, so it's better that he stops talking. Anata laughs again and says that this is definitely the thrill he was looking for. At that moment, Hanayama throws a strong kick directed at this guy's face. Hanata manages to dodge the kick and is surprised that someone like Hanayama attacked his opponent when he was off guard. But what surprised him the most is that he threw a kick, when it is well known that his fighting style is bare knuckle. This fighter is right to be surprised since Hanayama has only been seen using his feet to attack on very few occasions. He is normally a guy who fights with his fists alone. Hanada looked very excited, but suddenly realized that the kick had managed to touch him, causing a cut on his cheek. The fighter wipes his blood and says he's glad he didn't bite his tongue, because that way he wouldn't be able to express his feelings in this fight. Hanayama continues to remain silent and without saying anything, removes his glasses and gives them to Kazaki to hold. With this action, he implied that the next attack was serious and intended to end the fight. In the next panel, 
we can see Hanayama hunching over while adopting his famous attack stance. This was the posture that indicated he was going to use his most powerful attack. Hanada watched excitedly as Hanayama prepared to attack him with his best punch, and that made him feel very happy. With great speed, Hanayama releases his powerful attack and tries to hit Hanada with his gigantic fist. To the surprise of many, Hanada manages to dodge that attack and with great agility grabs Hanayama's arm and slams him to the ground. This guy takes advantage of Hanayama's strength and uses it against him, making the giant hit at the ground with his face. The chapter ends by showing us Kazaki, completely surprised that someone has managed to take down Hanayama so easily. On the last page, there is a text indicating that there will be no chapter next week, which means that we will have to wait another two weeks to know the outcome of this fight. Now the question hanging in the air is, did Hanada manage to defeat Hanayama, or has this fight only just begun? And well, now it's time to analyze this chapter. First of all, I would like to mention that this fighter is not a new character. He has appeared before, but it was a long time ago, and that's why many may have forgotten about him. Junichi Hanato was Mothabi's strongest disciple, and was supposed to face Baki in the maximum tournament. However, before that fight took place, an incident occurred that left Hanata out of the tournament. On that occasion, Mount Toba gave Hanata a beating and took his place to fight against Baki. Although we didn't get to see his full potential back then, we could say that this guy was a few levels below fighters like Katho, as he was seen fighting him on a couple of occasions, and there were even fights. Hanada is a good fighter, on one occasion, he defeated several of Mitsunari's fighters with ease. At that time, he did not have much experience, but he showed a lot of potential. And well, now that you know that he is a character that already existed in the Baki universe, I would like to know what you think about Ithagaki bringing back old fighters to give them relevance in this arc. Kosho returned to action after some time without having any important fight, and will now face Jack Hanma in the underground arena. Hanada also returned after several years without appearing in his first opponent, is Hanayama. Personally, I prefer the idea of giving relevance to existing characters instead of introducing new characters without history or previous context. The Baki universe is full of fighters who never had their moment to shine and I think it's great that Ithagaki uses this new art to give them screen time. I don't know about you, but I would like to see a new tournament where we can see old characters return to action, but now stronger and with more experience than before. I don't think Hanada defeated Hanayama so easily. It's most likely that the fight will continue in the next chapter, and there we will meet the real winner. I am also curious about the fact that Hanada is looking for Baki, but if you remember what I told you before, this guy was supposed to fight Baki in the underground arena, but Toba took him out of action, and he could no longer participate in the tournament. It still seems funny to me because Baki is currently at a level close to Yujiro, and it is almost impossible for someone to beat him. However, Hanada is not like Shiba, and he surely knows what Baki is capable of. I do not think he is the kind of man to go into a fight without a strategy. After all, when he fought against Katho, he chose to surrender because he knew he could not beat him. But well, all this is pure speculation, and we will have answers in the upcoming chapters. For now, I would like to know your opinion. Remember that you can leave your questions and suggestions for future videos in the comment box. And well, friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.